everyone. Welcome to the next unit. This is unit nine, circles. We are doing these notes in class, but if you are absent or if you miss something, that's where these videos can come into play. So please ask your teacher to see where you're at. Please check Teams and stay on top of it. We are almost there, guys. We have about two more units for those who are listening right now. All right, so let's get started on the definitions. All right, so when we are copying down, yep, yeah, you can copy them down and I can kind of talk through them. So the circle um, is the set of all points that are equal distance, that are equidistance to the center. So in this circle, that is the point A, okay? So all these points on the outside are equal distance to the center and that's what makes this circle. So if I took this and I had a string and I could kind of go all the way around to make that circle make that edge. Okay, the radius is the distance to the center and any edge of the circle. So one example of that, let's make this B right here. So AB would be um, the radius. Okay, that could be one of the radiuses. Or if this was AC, right, AC could also be a segment. It's from the center to the outside. The distance, the diameter, is the longest chord. What that? What does that mean? It's the line segment that goes through the center. So if this was D right here, the diameter would be this whole thing. So that would be DB, okay? It has to go through the center in order for it to be a diameter. And then the very last one is a chord, and I kind of wrote this out. It's a line segment that touches the edges of the inside of a circle. This is important, it's the inside of the circle. So a chord could be this green one right here. So this is EF, so that is a chord, and the diameter is also the chord. So think of the diameter like a fancy chord, okay? But the chord can cut any portion of the circle, it just has to touch two edges and has to be on the inside. So the chords can be tiny, but they have to touch two of the edges of the circle. Okay, we're gonna talk a lot about inside, outside, and all those things. So the interior of the circle, so point, so point A is inside the circle, right? So we're talking about inside the circle. Okay, we're gonna be talking about 360 degrees on the inside. C, the exterior, so that would be point C is on the outside of it. So we might have things coming outside of the circle, so we need to understand what the outside is. And then the last one would be on the circle, so that would be point B. So when we're talking about on the out, on actually touching the circle. So those are the three different types. All right, so let's use this diagram and identify the chords, the diameters, and the radii. Um, radius, um, plural, is called radii, so that's what we say. All right, so radius, let's do that first. So the radii are the ones that go from the center to the outside, so HG and FH. Doesn't matter the order, we have this one. All of these are the radii, so CB and CA. You can, again, write them in a different order. Um, let's say, is this E on the outside? Yeah, we can also make that one it, so CE. So those are all the radii. Again, it has to go from the center to the outside. They, th the diameters are also very specific. They have to go from both edges and they have to go through the circle. So there's actually only one that does that, and that is BE. So BE is actually the only diameter in these examples. All right, now chords, the only rule for a chord is that it has to touch two sides of the circle. So BD is one of them, okay? And BE is another chord. And then those are the only two chords. These outside, these outside things are things that you're gonna learn later on in this unit, but again, they're not on the inside of the circle. So we're just focusing on these. All right, now let's remind ourselves about the circles. Circle formula and pi. So this, this idea of pi helps us when we are identifying circles because we can't just take a ruler and measure or find the area. We use this idea called pi. It's actually a number, okay? It's actually a number that's like 20,000 numbers long, but we use 3.14. So please make sure you use 3.14 when you are um, solving, not the pi button. Okay, if you use the pi button, we're all going to get different answers. All right, again, the diameter of a circle. How do I find, so we're going to kind of use these formulas based on this picture, okay? 
So what is a diameter? Well, the diameter is two radiuses. That's how I find the diameter. The area of a circle, well, the area of a circle is actually pi r squared. You want to make sure you're going to do r squared first, okay? And then circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So think of the difference between timesing something by 2 and something r squared. That is very different. So what is in common with all of them? Well, I see that the radius is in all three of these equations. Okay, so the diameter is finding the all the way across. The area is the inside. And then the circumference is the distance around. So the distance around a circle. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. So area covering it up. So if I was kind of frosting a cake compared to circ circumference, if I was running around a circle, okay, and then diameter if I was finding the measurement across. So we're going to use these for the next formulas. Please have your calculators out. Okay, so the diameter of S, so this whole thing, this whole thing right here is 30, okay? And the diameter of R, of the R circle, so we're talking about this whole thing, is 20, okay? So we're trying to see where these combine. And then DS, this little section right here is 9, this little section, boop a doop Okay, so I need to find out what CD is. Okay, so I'm trying to find this little tiny chunk. Okay, so what do I know? Well, let's think about this. So if the whole diameter is 30, and we said that two radiuses equal one diameter, okay, so I'm going to cut that in half to find out that this radius is actually 15. Okay, and if that radius is 15, and this little section right here is 9, how do I find out what the remaining is? Well, I would subtract those two. So 15 minus 9 would be 6. So that little section, so CD would e actually equal 6 centimeters. Okay? So we actually didn't really need this 20, that, that 20 after all, because this little section was 10. And then we little, you know, this little section right there compared to that little section. Okay? All radii in the same circle are congruent. Okay, because if you're in the center and you're on the outside, that is going to equal that, which is going to equal that, which is going to equal that. All of them are the same distance because it's going from the center to the edge of the circle. Okay, and in order to make a circle, all of the radii have to be congruent to make that perfect shape. All right, let's do number two. So given that DB is 13, okay, so this whole thing is 13. Okay, that's a diameter because it's going through the center of E. Okay, what is the length of EC? Okay, well, what is the length of ED? ED is half of that, so what's half of 13? Well, that's 6.5, and if all radii are congruent, this actually also has to be 6.5 because they're both radii. So ED would equal 6.5, and EC also equals 6.5 units long. Okay. They didn't give you specific units. All right. Moving right along. So if a circle has a radius of three, what is the diameter? So if the radius is three, I need to double that to find the diameter. Well, three times two diameter is two R. So I'm going to do, uh, let me put this in a different order. Sorry. So you're going to do two times three, which equals six. So six feet. All right, a circle has a diameter of five. What is the radius? Well, diameter equals two R. So if the diameter is five, I need to find half of that to find the radius, which would be 2.5 inches, okay? So I would find half of it. So if you wanna make it bigger, you times by two. If you wanna make it smaller, you divide by two. That's how we divide two to both sides to find the radius. If a circle has a diameter of six, what's the circumference? Well, circumference is two pi R. Okay, so let's first find out the radius. So if the diameter is 6 and the radius is 3, I'm going to plug that in. So I have 2 pi times 3. Well, 3 times 2 is 6, and then I want you to times it by pi. So 6 times 3.14, and let's find out our answer. Please do 3.14, not the pi button. So, uh, so we can get the same answer. So 10 
0.84 feet. So then circumference again is finding the distance all the way around a circle. So 10.84. All right, now let's find the area. Okay, well the area of a circle is pi r squared and they're telling me that the circumference is 20 pi. So what I need to do is I need to figure out what the radius and I need to work backwards. Okay, so right now, so right now I have 2 pi r equals 20 pi. Okay, that's what I have. And what I need to do is solve for pi r squared. I have the circumference and I want the area. Okay, so I'm going to actually solve this problem over here and figure out what the radius is. So I'm going to first divide by pi. And in this problem, the pi is just attached, so I can actually just cross it out like this. And then I have 2r equals 20. Now, how do I find out what the radius is? I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and the radius is 10. Okay? So now that I know what the radius is, is I'm now going to plug it in. So pi times 10 squared. Well, 10 squared is not 20. 10 times 10 is 100. So it's actually 100 pi inches. And because it's area, when I'm trying to cover something, we do things like square footage, right, or square inches. We want to put a little squared button. Okay, so whenever we're dealing with area, it's to the squared. Whenever we're dealing with volume, it's going to be cubed. It's just the dimensions we're dealing with. So your answer should be 100 pi inches squared. All right, it, what is the radius and diameter of the circle if the area is 16 pi centimeters squared? Okay, so I have the area. Right now, I have the area. Right? And they want me to find the radius and the diameter, okay? That's what my mission is. So what is the formula for area? Well, that is pi r squared. So I'm gonna make that equal to this side, okay? And I'm gonna work backwards to figure out what the radius is. Once I find the radius, I double it to find the diameter. So I'm gonna divide pi to both sides, cross it out, and I get r squared equals 16. Well, what is the opposite of squaring something? Well, it's square rooting, and r equals four. Okay, so the second squared button in your calculator will give you this little square root button, okay? And it's four, so your radius is four centimeters, okay? Now a distance is not squared, just an area is squared, right? I wouldn't say my height is five, six inches cubed or squared. People would be like, what are you talking about, right? So a height or a distance isn't squared, just an area, just to cover it. Now, if I want to double that, that would become 8. So the radius is 4, the diameter is 8. Okay? Now, in order to make circles, a lot of people do strings. So, like, if you wanted to measure the circumference of your head or measure a ball, you could use a string because you can't really use a ruler. Rulers don't work. Okay? So we're using a string, and it says that, the, that it's 60 inches long. So if I'm measuring all the way around, we're talking about circumference. Okay, what is the approximate diameter of the trash can? Okay, P diameter, so I was, learn I t was taught that 2 pi r is the circumference, and that means that it's 60 inches. So I'm now going to find the, ra the radius and then the diameter, okay? So what do you have and what do they want? They want the diameter, okay? In order for me to find the diameter, I first have to start and find the radius. Okay, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and I get pi r equals 30. Now to get radius, I'm now going to divide by pi, which in my calculator, I'm not going to use the pi button. I'm going to use 3.14. So you need to practice this, please. Practice this in your calculator so then you know what you're doing. So 9.55. So let's just, so if it's 9.55, let's just round it to 9.6. And that's the radius, 9.6 inches, okay? And then I want to double that now. So I want to do 9.6 times 2, which is 19.2. So I'm going to times this by 2 and get 19.2 inches for the diameter. All right, awesome. So that's all for day one. Please try your homework about circumference, diameter, chords, radius, all the magic. All right, see you guys. Have a good day.